Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel and I'm the High Mileage Helper. On this channel, my goal is to be able to help you learn more about the RV transporting industry, as well as give how-to videos for your truck and then give a recommendations along the way. So if this is our first time meeting, just consider subscribing, hitting the like button if you got good value. And in today's video, we're gonna be interviewing my buddy Joe again uh, for the second time, talking about some of his routines as well as some things that have really helped him uh, along the way in the RV transporting industry uh, with his truck in particular. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. All right, Joe, to start off with, how many miles do you have on your truck? Well, it's a 2017 Ram. I got it with about 400 and something miles when it got, when mm. it arrived at the dealership. Right now it has 456,331, I think, is actually sitting in your garage. Gotcha, gotcha. And so along the way, what would you say has been a help to you as far as routines, be able to actually, you know, keep the, the truck in order and, and keep things uh, in check. What would you say uh, have been the, the biggest factors for you? Well, someone gave me a little a little saying that has really helped me in a lot of, in a lot of areas. It was uh, this lady was actually a surgical nurse for an orthopedic surgeon, and she said that the way they achieved a good rate of success, they had this little phrase that they did. It was same way every day same way every day now you we can tweak that and say same way every trip or however you want same way every week I think one of the things we all understand is maintenance is important that's one of the big things in your channel is about maintaining things we know about oil changes and air filter changes and other changes you know we change those things but mileage which again kind of lends itself to the name of your program, we kind of live and die by our ability to save money in the fuel that we spend. And of course we know in recent events, fuel prices have just been going up phenomenally. These are original miles. It's got the same uh, diesel particulate filter on it that came from the factory. I've not had to make any changes with any of those things. I haven't deleted anything and so every week we'll go back to the idea of a schedule at the beginning of every week I do a few things I will make sure that I have in one full tank at least uh, a, it's a Lucas product called diesel deep clean and you can get it in the small bottles I think you've got a bottle of here actually yep here you go so I'm not a Lucas spokesman, but anyway, this works. So from the get-go, at the beginning of every week, I put one of these, one of these will treat 30 gallons. So one of the first things that I do is just at the beginning of every week before I leave on a trip, I stick one of these in the tank with a full hmm. tank of fuel. Then there's the fuel additive, the saves you with your uh, fuel economy. And I've got a 72 gallon tank here and it treats 100 gallons, and so I put this in this in the factory tank, and I put one of those fuel treatments that treats 100 gallons in here, that's one time a week. So at the local supply store, you know, your Home Depot, wherever, I, this is at Menards, just so you know, it's about $15, so $15, $8.95, so that's what 23 call it 25 bucks and change that's one time a week but it has kept uh the mileage high and it has kept the the dpf running clean a year hmm. ago a mechanic buddy of mine was doing something with the exhaust system and just on a lark he took off the dpf and was going to run a hose through it and clean it and he told me, I was not there, but he said, Joe, I, I ran it through that. He said, nothing came out of it. <laughs> so, you know, it was a pretty clear indication that it, that it works. Now, they also have another way you can get this in bulk, and you know, that'll treat a couple hundred gallons, however mm -hmm. you want to do it. For me, your question was what routine, that fit right into my wheelhouse because the same way every week, I can do this, I can do that, 
and mm -hmm. that's like the one-stop treatment for mm -hmm. me for that particular aspect of this industry every week same way and mm. that's what has done it and unloaded I regularly get 23 25 mpg different trailers of course pull different ways different right. terrains we know that but I think I can pull this as a three-quarter ton I can pull a right at about a 14,000 pound GVWR fifth wheel and get 12 mm. which is not too shabby yeah you know so Absolutely. and of course wind and in your face or if you're in mountains that's going to change those kinds of things but again as mm. an average i've been able to get those things so so you've gone 415,000 miles 456. and some change 456 doing this every single week right. with no issues you've already at one point in time I'm, I'm assuming within the last couple hundred thousand miles that happened it was yeah it was a year about a year ago Okay, okay. That he pulled that off, and and he said, "I, I there's nothing it off. to clean." He said it came out. It came out. Now I'm not. You wouldn't want to drink the water, obviously. Right. <laughs> he said, but it. I was expecting there to be gunk. And he said it was it was clean hmm. in that sense of running something through part of your exhaust. He didn't hmm. have masses of of stuff out. He said it it, it came out pretty easy, pretty hmm. clean. There wasn't any, hardly anything in there. Gotcha. So. This has been a routine for you every single week, just like clockwork, just back to back to back for every me, single week. For me, it's every Monday. Every Monday, gotcha. In my schedule. Gotcha. Would you say that's overkill, underkill? Do you think it's just the sweet spot for you? Well, it's a sweet spot for me because I would rather, it's like the old saying of, I can afford $14 a week. It's a lot easier to do $14, it's like insurance. Most people can afford, you know, 25 bucks a month for insurance. What they can't afford is $12,000, you know, bang mm -hmm. up against whatever. So a DPF to have that replaced is going to be, what, three, four thousand, especially if you're on the side of the road yep. in some place. Oh, yeah. And they got you. Towing bill, the Because it's going to be eight, $1,800 probably for the part, that much again for their labor, plus you're on the side of the road. Hmm. It's easier to do this, and to me, that was my comfort zone was, and it has been proven, I'm covered. I drive down the road, and I don't have a worry about that coming up. Now, mm. nothing lasts forever. Right. But three years and 450-some-odd thousand miles is not too shabby. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, as far as the fuel system, this is, this is your, your routine, your regimen. I mean, it's just clockwork for you. Uh, what else would be clockwork as far as your weekly or bi-weekly or monthly routines? Well, it might be a little boring, but I try to do the same thing when I come home off a trip. So when I come home off of a trip, I first of all, I get my money in the bank. You know, some of you may have it automatically deposited. I'm not that particular way. With my bank, uh, it just works better, but thankfully mine are just right around the corner. So I pull into one bank, pull the money out, pull in another bank, put the money in. The next thing I do with the same regularity is I have uh, one of those monthly car wash stickers. This is the back side. You're not okay. going to see it, but we talk about maintenance for the working part of it. There was an old transport driver who had been doing this a lot longer than I had, like 15-ish, 20 years. He said, keep your vehicle clean. Now you can't really tell it because I just came off the road after driving for nine hours today. But every week I go through the car wash and I, and I make sure it does the underbody, which to me is the main thing, is to keep all the junk out from under the vehicle. So that's the other thing I do. I get the tires rotated religiously every 5,000 miles. These tires right now have 20, uh, I think 22,000 miles on them. Gotcha. The last set of tires, and I, I do the Michelins, whatever you want to use is fine, but I regularly get over 100,000. The last set that I turned in still had tread left, but it was going on, it, we get ready to go into the cold months, and I just didn't want to fool with it. And it had 104 and change, 104,000 miles mm. and change. Mm. So that that is, this is such an investment. Good tires, mm. 
And so rotating them, I run them at 80 PSI. I get that checked religiously. About every third rotation, I have them check the balance. If you buy the tires at a place, they'll throw all this in most of the time, and they'll check that alignment for you. Hmm. Uh, if they have to do the alignment, obviously there will probably be a charge for that, but still, it's too much money to just burn up rubber, you know. Hmm. Gotcha. So this is your your weekly or when it's time for the tires to be rotated. It's that's your full routine. Yeah. Oil changes, same mm -hmm. thing. It's it's clockwork. I have a place that I go. They you know they put the sticker on there, and I just I keep looking at that thing. And when it's time to change the oil, within obviously a window of being able to get back home and right. get it done. Right. But I, I I change those filters. My own nemesis that I keep forgetting. The thing that I'm working on is that stupid air filter. That's the thing I'm constantly going, I haven't changed that in whenever. Of course, you pull it out, it looks like a dirty sock. So, but it's got to breathe, obviously, and that's all That's all part of it. So it's the little things, but I have a, a, just a schedule for doing that. The tires, getting it washed, all of these things. And I, I haven't been doing it as long as, you know, many other people in the business but a routine for me, mm. especially when it's a new line of work, you know, five years ago is when I got into this. So I had to, I had to, the saving grace for me was that routine where mm. I can say I can do this and this will keep you out of a lot of trouble. Mm. Awesome. Well, thank you for sharing your whole truck with us uh, from the past video and this video as well. Hopefully this video was a help to you. Uh, hopefully it was thought provoking. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, do you follow this kind of regimen, this kind of routine? Uh, do you have something else? What's something else that maybe you do you could share with us in the comments down below? Let us know. Give us a like, give us a follow if this was a help to you. Hopefully we can keep on doing these things together, learning and growing together uh, as we're all uh, just trying to grow in this industry. And uh, just appreciate you for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe guys and God bless.